going to read the uh, final three instructions to you. Number 19. During the trial, you have been allowed to take notes. You may take these with you to the jury room to use in your deliberations. Remember, these are notes and not evidence. Your notes should be used only as memory aids, and you should not give your notes precedence over your independent recollection of the evidence. In any conflict between your notes, a fellow juror's notes, and your memory, your memory should prevail. Remember that notes sometimes contain the mental impressions of the note taker and can be used only to help you recollect what the testimony was. At the conclusion of your deliberations, leave your notes with the court attendant and they will be destroyed. 20. When you begin your deliberations, you should select a foreperson. It will be his or her duty to see that your deliberations are carried on in an orderly manner, that the issues are fully and freely discussed, and that every juror is given an opportunity to express his or her views. In order to return a verdict, each juror must agree to it. Your verdict must be unanimous. It is your duty as jurors to consult with one another and reach an agreement if you can do so without compromising your individual judgment. Each of you must decide the case for yourself, but do so only after an impartial consideration of the evidence with the other jurors. During your deliberations, do not hesitate to re-examine your view and change your opinion if convinced it is wrong. But do not change your opinion as to the weight or effect of the evidence just because it is the opinion of the other jurors or for the mere purpose of returning a verdict. Remember, you are judges of the facts. Your sole duty is to do justice. 21. When you retire to deliberate, I will give you these instructions with an attached verdict form as well as additional copies of the instructions for you to use. You must sign one and only one verdict form. When you have agreed upon your verdict and the foreperson has signed the verdict form, please notify the court attendant. Uh, dated this 21st day of March 2019, I have signed the original, which again has the little notation on the front page that it is the original very last page of the instructions is a uh, our forms of verdict. Form of verdict number one, we the jury find Jason Carter not guilty. Form of verdict number two, we the jury find Jason Carter guilty of murder in the first degree. Um, I am going to ask that the 12 of you who are going to be serving on this jury uh, go to the jury room. Um, I am going to suggest to you, hopefully your lunch is waiting for you, I'm going to suggest to you that it might be appropriate to take breaks during your deliberations like we did during the trial. Um, if one person takes a break, everybody needs to take a break because this needs to be a unanimous decision that is discussed among all of you together. So you can't keep discussing, deliberating, if one of the members or four of the members of the panel are not in the jury room with you. If you get to 4.30 and you have not yet reached a verdict, I'm going to have Lori bring you back into the courtroom. You should decide among yourselves what time you want to reconvene tomorrow morning. It'll be up to you. We've been starting about 9. You as a group need to decide what time you will uh, start your deliberations again tomorrow morning. Uh, when, they, uh, when Lori brings you back into the courtroom, I will likely give you a short admonition, simply reminding you that all deliberations related to this case must occur in the jury room. 
Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the two alternates uh, who are going to not be permitted to take part in deliberations are Um, I'm going to ask that when the other members of the jury retire to the jury room for their deliberations, uh, that you wait behind in the jury box. Uh, Lori will come back and get you and take you to the jury room if you need to collect any of your, uh, anything that's in the jury room. Um, in addition, you've ordered lunch, you get lunch. Lori will make sure you get your lunch. I, I am going to ask that... Uh, Lori, bring you into my office very briefly, um, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have before you leave. Uh, so, with that, uh, Lori, if I can get you to take the 12 members of the panel into the jury room. Oh, before I do that, sorry folks. Deb reminded me. I need to swear you. Do you solemnly swear that you will take and keep this jury together in their jury room and not allow any person to speak to or communicate with them, nor you speak with or communicate with them except to ask whether they have agreed upon their verdict, and not communicate with them the state of their deliberations or the verdict agreed upon until after the same shall have been received by the court, unless they be sooner discharged by the court, and that the exhibits taken by you and delivered to the jury shall not be left unattended or tampered with until returned into open court. Please answer, I do. I do. Thank you. 